Gartner Research Vice President and technology expert David Willis predicted last year that by 2013, 80% of businesses will support a workforce using tablets. But how do you even know whether it's worthwhile buying a tablet for your business? Here are a few questions that you may consider. Will the tablet improve efficiency within my business? Will using a tablet make or save my business money? Will it save me time during a customer sales call or during other vital times when doing business? When you're on the go, do you mostly use your smartphone for email rather than a notebook, but get annoyed when you can't see all websites and wish there was an easier way to view them? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, it's perhaps worthwhile for you to source a tablet for your business. When you purchase a tablet, you need to consider the size, resolution, connectivity and operating system. First, consider what role a tablet will play in your business. Will it show clients images as a type of marketing tool? Or will you use a tablet for producing and organising data? For each tablet's operating system, there are a range of apps designed for consumption and production, and both are quite different. Google's Android is better for data production, while Apple's iOS is better for data consumption. If you're interested in playing videos or playing games, Apple's iOS is the way to go. Looking at each of their programs specifically, Google's Android comes with Google Analytics, which will be great if you're a webmaster. And available on iOS, if you want to use a marketing and social media tool, Hootsuite is perfect as this app allows you to connect all of your social media accounts under one roof. The tablet is not built to replace the laptop or PC, but it does offer some serious data production applications such as iOS's Documents Unlimited and Android's multi-platform OpenOffice. Each of these apps gives great functionality in document creation, spreadsheets and PowerPoints. Perfect organisational tools for those admin and finance jobs you need to carry out in a small business. Hardware-wise, we must think about connectivity. Do you want to connect your PowerPoint presentation to a projector or use USB for transferring data? Apple's iPad seriously lacks a lot of output ports such as USB and HDMI. It also lacks Adobe Flash, so viewing some websites can become tricky. For small businesses with corporate clients, the Lenovo ThinkPad is helpful as it's easy to share and distribute company purchased apps to numerous devices through a custom client controlled app shop on this tablet. On the Lenovo ThinkPad, you can also take notes with a pen rather than using a keyboard, which might appeal to small businesses that want to jot down notes during meetings. It will then convert the writing to text for you. Google's Android comes with a lot of expandable memory options, so you can save all of your data, presentations, Word documents into an, onto an SD card such as this. It also comes with cloud storage such as Google's Drive. Portability is also vital. Bigger is not necessarily better. Depending on what you want to use it for, the Google Nexus 7's 7-inch 7 screen makes transportation of this tablet easier than most. For more information choosing a tablet, visit our website at www.redfusion.co.uk.